Let's talk about the Doppler effect. We know that light is affected by motion. And remember, everything in the universe is in motion. So when a wave source begins to emit circular waves, the circular waves remain equidistant, equally spaced apart, if the object remains stationary. But when it begins to move, notice how certain parts of the waves are getting pushed closer together while other parts are spreading apart? This is what we call the Doppler shift. If an object emitting light is moving towards you, the distance between each wave crest is reduced. So, as a result, the wavelength is compressed a little bit. This shorter wavelength is slightly bluer than it should be, so we call such light blue-shifted light. But on the other hand, if an object emitting light waves is moving away from you, the distance between each wave crest is increased, so the result here is a wavelength that is stretched a bit. This longer wavelength is slightly redder than it should be, so we call it redshifted light. Here we have a more familiar Doppler effect situation. We can see an ambulance rushing towards the person on the right. They will hear a higher pitch from the ambulance's siren than the person on the left who will hear a lower pitch because the waves reaching each of them are either compressed together and blue shifted or stretched apart and red shifted as the ambulance drives off. But how does the Doppler effect present itself in astronomical situations? Well, it can happen when the object emitting light is moving or when the observer seeing the light is moving. In fact, we can see Doppler shifted light from many distant objects, which tells us that the universe is expanding. Or we can use this Doppler shifted light from these distant objects to determine how fast stars are rotating and in what direction. Take for example, this star. On one hand, we see red shifted light coming from this edge of the star, while on the other side, we see blue shifted light. Now, this doesn't mean that the light itself is actually red or blue, just that it's slightly longer and slightly shorter than what we would have expected. This phenomenon tells us that this side of the star is rotating towards us while this side rotates away. We can see an example of this right here in an animation of our own sun. Now, Doppler shifted light from distant stars can also tell us if the star is moving towards us or away from us. And this can actually help with the detection of exoplanets. If a star appears to be moving in an orbit like this one, there may actually be an unseen planet near it that is yet to be discovered. So, let's test our understanding with some quick examples. The figure we see below shows the relative motions of five distant stars, labeled A through E, as they are seen by a stationary observer. The speed and direction of each star's motion is shown by the length and direction of the arrows. So, which of these stars will appear to have blue shifted light? Now remember, blue shifted means the stars are moving towards the observer, so we look for the ones that have arrows pointing to the observer. That means stars B and E will have blue shifted light. Then which ones have red shifted light? If you answered A and C, you're correct. These are the stars that are moving away from the observer, so their light will be stretched, appearing redder than expected. Now the last question is, which of these stars will have no observable Doppler shift, at least according to the stationary observer? The answer is D. Star D's motion is not along the direction of the observer's line of sight, so the observer will see no observable Doppler shift from star D. So now we're ready to take all that we've learned and explore the actual tools of astronomy. Telescopes.